misunderstood. A lot of people think of amblyopia as a crazy looking eye or a wandering eye, and that's not at all what amblyopia or lazy eye means. So to understand what that means, we first have to back up and talk a little bit about normal vision development. So I'm going to draw a couple pictures and show you normally um, how the vision is supposed to develop and um, when amblyopia or lazy eye develops and, and what that means. So over here, I'm going to draw a little graph about the way things are supposed to develop. So this bottom line is going to be our age, our age line. So here is from birth, and if we click out, here's to about age five or six. Birth to age five or six is really the critical vision development time. And I'll explain that a little bit more in detail, but let me show you what's supposed to happen at birth here. When we're born, the eyes are supposed to be too short, about two units too short, and that just simply means that we're farsighted. This is normal. This allows for the natural elongation or growth of the eye that's supposed to happen. So if everything works out well, we start out about two diopters farsighted, and the eye grows, and by about age five or six or so, we're still left a little bit farsighted. So it's normal to be farsighted. And again, all that means is that the eye's a little bit too short, and to keep things clearly focused, our lens has to do about three quarters of a unit work. So that's kind of what we strive for. Now I'm gonna switch gears and go to a different picture here for just a second, and then we'll connect the two in just a second. So here, here's your head. Here's a bird's eye view looking down on your head. Here's your eyes, here's your nose, and I'm not going to draw this anatomically correct, I just want to simplify it a little bit. Now the eyes, all they do is capture light, but what they really do is send that image to a portion of the brain that interprets or does the seeing. So the portion of the brain that interprets vision is called the visual cortex. So here would be a nice, here would be a nice healthy visual cortex, and they overlap in the middle. Okay, so the trick is when we're born, this is not developed at all. So if you took an EEG or hooked up brain waves and, and put them on the back part of the brain on the visual cortex, there would be nothing. Nothing is developed at age, at, at age zero. This develops through this critical age development of zero to age five. So when we're born, if we're relatively on this curve, all that means is that the eyes, which are the cameras, they do a relatively good job of focusing light. And if they do a good job of focusing light, then they're sending clear signals to the brain, and this visual cortex is hooking up nicely. So this would be the right eye. Say you had a right eye kid that was right on the curve. That means that camera focuses light and sends nice, good signals to the brain, and the visual cortex hooks up. Say the left eye was also on the curve, meaning this camera did a nice job of focusing light. It would also hook up and really clearly and nicely um, develop this visual cortex. So this would be normal age, age development. I'm going to erase it now. And now I'm going to talk about an infant that I might see that has eyes that, that look normally. They, they, don't, they don't turn in or out or look funny at all. But say I see them in the office and I put the drops in and I see that one eye might be on the curve, but say they have one eye that's way off the curve. Say they might be six units too short in one eye or six units farsighted. So now say this is the right eye that's on the curve, and this is the left eye. What happens during this normal, and we'll say this is about age two or three, which actually is about when the lazy eye develops, Say I have an infant that looks like this. What I know is that they have one eye or one camera that does a nice job of focusing light. So here this camera works well, it sends nice visual signals, and they've got a cortex that's developing beautifully. Well then they have another eye that's way off this curve. That means this camera is six units too short and it has to take six units of power to focus. Well we get real smart and we know that we're just going to use the eye that takes two units to focus. So what happens with this kid is they let this left eye go blurry. So this camera does a poor job of focusing. So instead of this nice hookup that you see, what happens is it, oh, it sees blurry quite a lot of the time, and it tries, but these blurry signals are what get sent back to the visual cortex, 
And instead of this nice good cortex here, you get this little tiny visual cortex. This is called lazy eye or amblyopia. So it's kind of a bad term. It has nothing to do with the eye looking funny or looking strange. It's the brain or the connection specifically from the eye to the brain that have not developed correctly. So you'll notice two things. This visual cortex is small. This hookup is kind of strange and there's no overlap. This overlap is where we get things like 3D vision and binocular skills. This kid with amblyopia doesn't have any of that because they didn't get that hookup. So that's, that's the meaning of amblyopia.